Cheers, Vinyl Community. And the YouTube people. My name is Ty, and welcome to my channel. Alright, uh... Scored some VHS, got a VCR, a DVD player, a marketplace, and a CD player. Just kind of went a little overboard. Every now and then I'll peep on marketplace and see what there is. Right, let me bring the jazz down a little bit. Let's speak on my signature. Um, every now and then if there's something for real cheap, I found a CD player, Sony 5 disc, for $5. I mean, why not? Um, got it hooked up. It's not being used right now. This is a record you're hearing. But, um... It has a USB port with a little record button so you can, you know, put your CDs onto your USB. So it's somewhat a relatively newer model, but is it new, new? Uh, but for five bucks. And these people basically had it listed at 40 and then they were like, scratch five. We just have no use for it. It was like, they did, basically they're on the verge of throwing this shit away. So, souped it up, went on, uh, was scrolling. You guys know how I'm into VHS and stuff like that. Just anything 80s or 90s, I'm down for. Because I think that's just what I mainly use for the, you know, the first portion of my life. So, um, this lady was selling a, the VCR, a DVD player, and a box of VHS. She won like 30 bucks. Shit. I was like, uh, I probably could have got her down, but she just seemed nice. So I was like, hey, I'll give you 30. Well, when I got there, I met her. To pick up this stuff, she said, I have another box of VHS. And it, what, I, it was mainly like a lot of old John Wayne stuff that I probably don't need on VHS. So, uh, but there was another box of this. One box had Deer Hunter and she had another one. So I got both of the Deer Hunters on VHS. Anyone knows, killer fucking movie. Super long movie, but I just love how it's the old school. You, when you were younger, you knew it was a long ass movie. It was two VHS. You know what I mean? But um, I don't even think I've seen this on VHS. By the time I watched this, I got it on DVD, uh, which is still a long time ago. So, stoked. And I, I got two of these. Uh, and then and in that other box, had a river runs through it. Great movie by Robert Redford. I can still enjoy this movie. All right. Um, and I got this for 10 Even though it says four, that's an older price tag. I got this. 10 cents. Point of no return. Just watch it. Fucking works perfect. All right. So, uh, and I got, like, Christmas Vacation, The Grinch Who Stole Christmas, a few Christmas movies in there, um, Home Alone 1 and 2, it's kind of funny because, uh, big fan of Home Alone, when I was a young kid, though, my grandparents took my younger brother and I to go see Home Alone 2, and then when I was a little kid, my younger brother, that was his favorite movie, so there was a time where my, we started putting that VH on, VHS for my brother, you know what I mean, he'd be like, put on Home Alone! It's so much, she watched that damn movie so much, so there was a time where I couldn't even watch Home Alone, because I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I, really, I know this movie word for word, every square inch. But then, like, about ten years ago, because I hadn't seen it in a while, I was like, you know what, I think I can handle Home Alone again, but I was cracking up how good of a, it's still a great movie. And there was a cool thing on Netflix about showing how it made, how it was supposed to be, fuck, the movie originally was probably just going to go straight to fucking VHS back in the day, or DVD or whatever, or I think yeah, VHS back in the day. And um, it was, they were planning on it to be a big movie. And it, if you watch the damn thing on Netflix, it kind of goes into how it fell into place. So anyways, let's get into music. I got, um, so I was stoked. I uh, went to the record store and I didn't buy any vinyl. I'm trying to, <laughs> working hard on it. I still have a small stack behind the counter. I really, my whole goal I've been saying, and I've been trying to make this as a goal for like <laughs> a couple years now, to where I just go once a month. Spend a little, the amount you have set aside, just go once a month. Uh, that that has not happened. And so it became more like well, a couple times a week, you know what I mean? Uh, so, but I want to try to get to this goal where I make it just, it, so I always enjoy all the records I get. But I feel like when we're getting so many records in at this, at a pace sometimes, you it just, again, we're not, I'm not taking them for granted, but it's just like, Shit, I used to get, you know what I mean, one or two records and I went for a year sometimes, you know what I mean, just depended, you know what I mean, like, I remember back in 2009 and 2010, 2008, uh, 2013, 2014, certain years where I just, I, I couldn't afford to really get too much vinyl, you know what I mean, and, um, and depending where I was at, you know what I mean, it wasn't too, too close to a record store, so anyways, you know what I mean, sometimes I would only get a handful of records for a whole year, and now, it doesn't help that I, you know what I mean, 
a bunch of killer record stores. I can go to my local spot that's not too, too far. But it's like, um, <clears throat> and I, don't get me wrong. If, if I was, you know, Howard Hughes baller and, and, and you know, and, you know, I'm collecting my pee in jars and I'm a total recluse, I wouldn't mind, I could, I, you know, would send me a hundred records a day. Let's fucking go for it. You know what I mean? But I'm not Howard Hughes and I don't have that budget and, uh, um, you know what I mean? You gotta, I like, I, uh, I listen to music all day long, but it's good. I, I like to go for walks, go for bike rides. And, uh, you know what I mean? I, I don't like the, the buy, just always buying stuff is like, I feel like, so I, you, you guys, you've already followed me down these rabbit holes before, so let's keep going. You guys don't mind. I'm sure if you've watched this much. So I'm a guitar player. One year I realized, this is about four years ago, a few years ago, um, just started buying more effects pedals than, like, un an unusual amount. I mean, had, like, a whole floor of my bedroom full of these pedals. And I was kind of, I started analyzing, you know, thought about it for one, I was like, no, why are you buying so many more pedals? Like, you, this obsession almost kind of came overnight, it seemed like. And then I thought about it, and I was like, well, no shit, dude. Look at, it's your phone. Your phone... Is showing you all these cool pedals, and you get to see people demonstrate how what they sound like. That's a big plus, and I love that you can do that. The downside about that is it'll make you want to get every cool pedal you hear because they all sound unique and they always sound great. But, but the main reason I felt like I, the main reason I was getting, you know, I mean, I was getting shown all these cool pedals, trying to keep up. And uh, the fun thing, if you got. A handful of good pedals you can basically one drive pedal you can make sound like almost every other drive pedal just by messing with the eq on it so that that's the cool thing like and if you have two or three you're good because in my opinion if you want a bunch more go for it but realistically if you got two overdrive pedals between those two you can make those two stack them and and flip and you can also flip them in a different order stack them in the opposite order so in and, and you can make between those two you can you can get the sound almost 90% of any of other overdrive pedal, pretty much. There's an exception for a couple, like the Klon, Klon you know what I mean, like the Klon Centaur, but you, you can basically get a soul food by um, electronic car, uh, anyways, one brand that makes them, the soul food pedal, a great pedal. I mean, you know. So anyways, my main point about all this is, I felt like it was my phone that was, and I'm, again, I'm not complaining about my phone, I'm using this device to film this damn episode right now, but... I think the same thing goes for records. I think, you know, I mean, sometimes I feel like these last couple of years because of the pandemic, we're staring at our phones maybe a little bit more. And again, I don't want you to buy less records, but always keep in mind, you know, I mean, what, you know, I mean, why are you maybe doing something more than usual? I usually try to, you know, I mean, let's examine this one. I, you know, I mean, the damn cell phone, which I think is to blame for probably a lot of issues <laughs> this day and age, but I think. Because the cell phones, like the new television, when TV came out back in the day, they're like, fuck, TV's going to turn our kids into zombies. When Nintendo came out, they thought the Nintendo games were going to turn our kids into zombies. So here we are, zombies with a cell phone. So I think the one thing I will say, you definitely got to be disciplined, probably screen time with anyone, especially a young, you know, a young growing mind. And technically your mind is always growing. So, but anyways, all that weird rant. Uh, trying to get less stuff. That being said, I'm totally a hypocrite and contradicted myself because now I'm going to show you some stuff I got. So, I got the CD with the the store I go to. They give you a, they call it a piranha book. It's a, anytime you spend $20, you get a, a dollar. So, I uh, was able to get, it's not the one of the new ones, Everest, uh, these are for far away. Uh, Evisceration Plague. I can't even say it. Evisceration, evisceration, evisceration plague. Oh my gosh, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think it's right. Evisceration plague. Uh, it's a good album. Came out like back in 2008. And you know, I got the CD player hooked up in here. I was like, you know what? Let's just get, um, let's hear some CDs. So I, I'm pretty sure I showed you I got this. It's called The Break of Split EP. Well, I finally got the other album. So I already had. had this one for a long time and I when I first got it, I was like wait there's some songs missing because I didn't realize the CD I had back in the day rupture in psychosis I just wasn't paying attention to detail 
So, it, and I didn't have the cover. I'm pretty sure I just had the CD, if I remember correctly. Or I just didn't look at the other side of the damn cover. So I finally was able to get, like I said, able to get Psychosis on vinyl. Super stoked because it seemed like when we were kids, like, damn, it seemed like the CD gets better as it gets towards the end. It was because it was a totally different album. Um, and I was able to get this on Discogs for a good deal. I recommend if you go listen to it. It's a killer tone. It was recorded by Jack and Dino. They were like that grunge band that should have maybe gotten bigger, but it's cool that they didn't get bigger because, you know what I mean? Um, cool for my ear. Cool for me that they didn't get bigger. Probably sucks for them that they didn't become multi-millionaires like Nirvana. Then one of them committed suicide and their wife fucking became a total weirdo. But, you know what I mean? Maybe. Maybe it's important to stay underground. Maybe they're all super happy today because they didn't become multi-millionaire zombies that were fucking owned by the record label. Who knows? It's something to ponder on. So anyways, guys, trying to keep this short and sweet. My next video, because I've been on for a year, I want to do a list of shout outs to some of uh, the channels that I've watched the most of. Um, even though... If I follow your channel, I, I try to watch all, if it comes to my stream, I check your guys' stuff out. I might not always comment, but I always try to give a like to your video. So anyways, guys, stay positive, play lots of vinyl and all that good stuff, and some CDs. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye.